Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I would like to welcome you if you are new and welcome back if you're returning. I truly appreciate your support. In today's video, I am going to be setting up my new A5 compact vertical layout in the Erin Condren Planner. So if you're interested in seeing this setup, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, again, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into this. Like I said, I will be setting up, well, kind of like a quick setup of the A5 compact vertical layout. And I was so excited because I found out that I was able to use this beautiful Notique cover again. So I went ahead and put the planner inside of here, just added a little bit of deco to the pocket, nothing major added some stickers and a little notepad to the back. I'll probably add some more to this as time goes, but I was just super excited that it actually fit in here because this has just been sitting on my shelf looking beautiful for a while and I'm happy to be able to use this again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and take this out. So if you purchased an A5 size cover from Notique without the rings, obviously, then just know that the A5 compact vertical from Erin Condren will in fact fit and it will snap and close beautifully. So if you watched my last video, then you know that this is the cover that I chose and I think it's so cute. And it's from the Wonton in a Million collection. Of course, I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this dashboard alone i'm gonna yeah or i'm sorry piece of vellum i'm gonna go ahead and just leave that alone i may or may not make another kind of name thing to go with this out of the like laminate but i don't know yeah i'm still trying to decide what i want to do but i will go ahead and put my name here so in my shop i do sell the name decals so if you have not taking a look at those the link for my shop is down below I don't know if I want to white that line out eh, it'll be fine so I'm just gonna stick that there sometimes I go ahead and wipe the lines out and then other times I'll just leave it alone I think today I'm just gonna leave it alone I apologize in advance for all of the well not necessarily all but any of the noise that you may here in the background, my building has a lot going on today and I just didn't feel like prolonging the videos because I've been doing that and that's why my schedule has been inconsistent and I'm going to try to do a better job at being consistent. Oopsie, oh well, um, I pulled that too fast. So pull up just a little bit, but it's probably not even noticeable to anyone but me. And I'm okay with that. So you're going to see in this thing, there's going to be a lot of little like imperfections because I, I don't know y'all, like I'm strongly considering giving up making stickers. Like I love the vinyl. I can do decals and things like that, but I'm kind of like losing my desire for stickers just because I just run into honestly so many problems with the cutting machines that I'm like, I'm, I'm genuinely just like over it. Like <laughs> I'm just over the stress and the drama of the cutting machines. So I may go ahead and like literally limit my shop down to like two or three different sticker options and then just kind of be done with it. Um, I do have other things on the shop to sell, so I won't close it. Although even that is something that I've honestly been considering lately just because Etsy is a lot. So I don't know. Um, but thanks to you guys and all these YouTube videos that I've been watching lately, I purchased these clean color dot markers by Zig because I thought they were super cool and it's, well, more cost effective obviously than purchasing the little date covers all the time. So that's what I'm using now. So blue is going to be, where did I put my pen? 
blue I've decided is going to be for birthdays. And I don't know what this pin is called, but it is definitely one of my favorites. I purchased this on Amazon. So kind of take a look at that if you're interested. And then, so blue is for birthdays. I'm going to use this gray for like regular events. And then this green will be for paydays. And I forgot to mention that this pack is like a highlighter pack. So this is the pack that I purchased. And like I said, this I just ordered it from Amazon. There were a bunch of different options, but this was the one that I chose. So, and I may add more to this later, but this is kind of like going to be my starting point. So I do actually use my perpetual calendar that comes with the planner and just kind of wrote down some birthdays that I could remember at the time. And then throughout the year, I pretty much add more as they come or even events. I just kind of add them. Well, you know, yearly events. I just kind of add them as they come up. So I'm going to go ahead and just add in some birthdays really quickly. Okay, so I just kind of put those in there. I was thinking as I was doing this that I probably need to do another color. Let's do the pink. And we will make the pink one holidays. But I will go ahead and fill that part in off camera and also do my paydays off camera because I have to go look them up. I honestly don't remember when they are. So anyway, this is kind of a starting point for this year at a glance. And I think it's super cute. I honestly, in like pretty much every planner I've ever had, like I would never actually use this page, but I've been seeing it a lot in the different videos and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try. <laughs> and I really like it. So there is that. Then we have this page, which you will see another error and another reason why I am considering getting out of the sticker game. But I went ahead and made these monthly headers really quickly today. But yeah, it's just like, for some reason, my machine just starts acting crazy and the cutting, it just gets off and I get really frustrated and then I don't wanna do it anymore. And then for some reason, it'll come back together. And then I'm like, okay, I can do this. So it's like a love hate relationship with being a sticker person. And again, on screen, it probably doesn't even look that bad <laughs> on camera, but I just know that there are like inconsistencies with the cutting that I can see. And like, as you can see, it just kind of cuts off and it just, it drives me crazy. Now, this is the hard part. Why did I start with January? Because I'm running my mouth. I don't want to start with January because this does not start with January. Oopsie. I saw somebody else do this little thing too. And let me tell you, using that little spatula has definitely been a godsend when you're trying to pick up stickers. Normally for smaller stickers, I do use a pair of tweezers. But since these are fairly large, I don't think that's necessary. I also need to start adding wax paper to <laughs> my planning routine so that I don't have to have a handful of stickers. So anyway, I absolutely love this font. I love the way that it turned out. I just, I don't know. I just wish my cutting would stop being Henri. So I know that I think most people are probably doing like six months and six months, but honestly, that drives me crazy. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and just do it this way because my teacher brain just really likes it better this way. You know, they say like, well, just like with everything, you can take the person out of the environment, but you really don't take the environment out of the person. So even though I am no longer a teacher, I still have a teacher brain. <laughs> and because this is not an actual book, I just, I don't know. I don't, I just don't like it. I kind of wish like all of my things could go this way. Like even the weeklies, I wish it would just go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like versus it being Monday through Thursday on one side. But anyway, such is life. I guess if I want it that way, I need to just make my own planner <laughs> or at least make my own inserts that I could stick into a planner. Um, did I lose March? Oh, I sure did. Look at that, got stuck on the coil. All right, March, April. So if you are a sticker maker and you use the silhouette like Cameo and you have an easier way to calibrate, because I really think, honestly, I think that's the problem is that I don't know how to calibrate my machine. <laughs> um, I've watched a couple videos and I genuinely cannot find, like I need a calibration for dummies video. So if you know how to do it and you can like walk me through it or talk me through it or even point me in the direction of a better video, that would be greatly appreciated. Leave that information down for me in the comments and I will truly be appreciative of that. So anyway, I think this looks super cute though. <laughs> so with this page, I think what I'm going to do with it is I really want to do like, you know, my favorite thing that happened for that particular month. So almost like a memory journal kind of situation. So like whatever my like number one favorite event that happened for that particular month, I just want to put here. Um, I don't really, I know you're supposed to do all those goals and all that stuff. And I do, but not to the extent that I feel like I would need this layout for that, if that makes sense. So because I'm not doing the goal planning, I decided that I was going to just use some of these stickers. And this is from the Colorful Boxes Happy Planner sticker book. I'm just going to put some of these stickers here just so it says something different. And it's just good. Oh, shoot. I put that one on the wrong. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I had intentionally planned on putting that one on this side and this one on that side, but that's okay. So, yeah, just some nice other kind of words since I'm not really doing any goal planning. I know I mentioned that in another video, like I haven't really seen anybody cover this up, <laughs> which is so strange to me because if you're using it for like birthdays or something like that, like I just don't understand why you wouldn't want to cover this up. But you know, whatever, teach us on. Okay, so I think that's cute. So again, we have this page. Here is this page that, like I said, I'm going to do like a memory planning. So I'll just write like my number one favorite thing that I did or accomplished or whatever here in these boxes for the month. Then, of course, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do with this page yet. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank. And then in the back, again, we have some more like note sections. I'm thinking about creating like a reading log because I have been really getting into reading lately and maybe like a movie list or a bucket list or whatever, but because I haven't really decided, I'm not gonna do anything with that just yet. And then of course, I will go back and add in these like heritage and awareness observances as holidays or events. And then I doubt that I would use this page, but maybe for like business context, it would be relevant. And then I could go ahead and add in birthdays, but I'm not going to do that today on camera. So I think that's actually it for this. Yeah, that's actually it for this setup. So it wasn't too bad. 
So thank you so much for rocking with me. Be on the lookout for the other Play With Me's that I will be doing because I will definitely be doing more Playing With Me's more often. And I do have another little surprise coming, but you'll find out more about that later. So again, stay tuned. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button so you can be, oh, and the bell so that you can be notified when I post another video. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.